everyone. Today we're going to do a quick startup of the JF-17 by DECA Ironworks Simulations. This is not a checklist startup. If you're looking for that, you're going to have to get it somewhere else. This is going to be an efficiency startup and uh, there's a lot to cover and a lot to do and multiple things will be done at the same time. So uh, get ready to rewind and rewatch some stuff because there's a lot going on. And if you make it through without rewinding and can remember, awesome. Let's get started. First, we're going to come over to the right hand side. We're going to turn on our battery, our AC gen, our DC gen. And the panel below it is the AAP panel. This is responsible for turning on and off different systems in the aircraft. You can turn on IFF, navigation, etc. We're going to hit combat and that will turn on everything we need for combat, which is typically what most of us are going to do in this. And then on the bottom panel below that is the ACP panel. Go ahead and turn on intercom. I'm going to turn up the volume switches. Warning. And you're going to get warnings. So go ahead and hit this Warning. master caution one time. And if you can't find it, turn on the enunciator panel. And that will turn on the lighting here as well. Uh, and you can go ahead and just hit it one time. It'll turn off the warning, warning, warning voice. Come over to the left hand side. And we're going to turn on our fuel pump, engine control. And we're going to take our throttle out of the off and into the idle detent by clicking right here. And we're going to hold the ground switch start button for four seconds. You can hear the engine starting. On the left display, you can hit EPI 1. That will show you the engine performance. You can see it's starting up there. On the back left, we're going to come over here and turn on SHARS, which is the attitude and heading reference system and the emergency hydraulics. And we're going to come over to the right display. We're going to hit EFIS. And this will show the pitch ladder. You can see there's no pitch bars uh, at all. And that's because Shars is currently aligning. And we have to wait. It takes about a minute. And while that's going on, we're going to come over to the right here and turn on our ECS, uh, Environmental Control System. And then we're going to come up to the UFC and we're going to turn on our HUD. These two knobs and the UFC brightness here. And since Shars is still going, we're going to go ahead and input our current position so we can start the alignment as soon as that's finished. On the UFC, we have four LED displays. The second one shows our latitude, the third one longitude, the bottom one is our altitude. So we're going to need to correct that from the kneeboard. Go ahead and hit the arrow to the left of the latitude line. That will start our input. We go ahead and read it from the kneeboard verbatim forgetting the north or south, but you need all of these numbers. So four, three, zero, six, one, two, eight. And you're going to hit the arrow again to confirm. And now we move to longitude, click the arrow. And then you're going to read it verbatim again. Starts with a zero, zero, four, zero, three, four, one, eight, three. And again, confirm with the arrow. And then on the altitude line, we're going to hit the right arrow because we're going to change the numbers here and not the positive negative here. So go ahead and hit the right arrow. And then you need to enter again the same number of numbers here. So 0, 0, 0, 7, 4, and go ahead and click confirm. And then we come over here and we can see Shars is finished. So we can go ahead and start our alignment. We have our everything input here. If we come over to the right hand side for the AAP panel again, we're going to change the uh, INS knob to fast from standby. And you can see here, this will start our INS alignment. The countdown timer's going, but we need to put in the right heading. So again, right shift K, bring up the kneeboard. Our heading is 025. So click the arrow to the right here and then go ahead and hit 025. Obviously your heading would be different, possibly. And you can see that the countdown started again. So while that's going, we're going to come on the left and we're going to tidy up a bit. We're going to turn on our oxygen. Then we're going to come below that is the uh, radio panel. We're going to hit uh, to TR to transmit receive. Make sure the volume is up. And we're going to plug in our oxygen. We're going to arm our ejection seat. 
we're going to take the safety pin out and we have five seconds remaining if you have more time you can come here and change the lights uh, you can change the, the brightness and your various external lighting as well and that's basically it uh, the right hand side here is for the data cartridges in front of this light this light is for when you can't see in the dark and right here you're gonna hit click it once which will insert the data cartridge and click it again and this is gonna load our stores our navigation if the mission had a pre setup navigation this is gonna load all that it's gonna load our countermeasure setups from the special menu and once you plug it in on the left screen you're gonna get the uh, DTC page you're gonna hit all and then you're gonna hit enter and this is gonna start the transfer process from the cartridge to the computer here so again this is gonna load our navigation stores various other things we won't go into detail right now once this is completed it'll say DTC locked and there we go DCT locked so now everything from that cartridge is on the computer and if we come over to our enunciator panel we have two more things we need to take care of one is a canopy let's go ahead and close that you're going to push this forward one time which is going to start bringing down the canopy and then that lever again you're going to flick it one more time forward and that's going to seal it and hopefully you've turned on your oxygen you don't want to suffocate but the last thing I want to mention is this config. So the FCS works a bit different in here. It knows what stores you have. We have four Mark 82s and two PL5s and a tank. Well, it knows that we have air to ground munitions. So it's yelling at us here, telling us our config is wrong for the FCS. And if you come over to the FCS, you can see we're set to AA mode. And if we flip that over to air to ground, it goes out and this is kind of the uh the limiter this turns on the limiter for the g limiting and the uh aoa limiting so that we don't rip off our munitions or our wings i guess in the process of doing maneuvers the ag1 and ag2 are basically everything is ag1 if you have wing external tanks you're going to flip to ag2 now there are some scenarios where some munition sets will have uh added weight and you'll need to flip over to AG2 but the way that you'll know that uh, is the config light will go on so if I flip to AG2 now config light goes on because that's not the correct configuration for what I have here so if you're ever in question just flip these until it makes sense and then you'll know and uh, that's about it and now our alignment is also done and that's kind of the last step we're going to go ahead and come over here to the alignment knob and flip it to nav and that should finish everything up we are ready to go so now we turn off the parking brake and we can taxi to the runway now most of you are going to be playing you know single player missions and you're going to have the dtc set up for you and uh you know, the, the the payload is set up for you if you are playing multiplayer chances are you're going to land uh, if you didn't die and you're going to want to rearm, refuel. You might take different uh, munitions. If that's the case, you want to come over to the right hand side here and eject the data cartridge. You can click that two times, it gets rid of it. And then go ahead and rearm, refuel, and do what you need to do. And once you've rearmed and refueled in the ground crew menu here on the right, on the top right here. You can see that F5 is update DTC data and that will update the data cartridge with your new stores. And then you would come over here and you go ahead and insert it again, which would bring up the DTC page here, just like this. You'd click all and click enter. Obviously it's not going to do anything now because we already did that, but that's what you would do basically every time you land and you change your munitions. Okay. The last thing I want to cover is just a quick thing on takeoff. The plane itself is going to auto rotate at about 180 knots. This originally caught me off guard because I didn't realize it was going to do that. So I yanked back on the stick. And if you go above 10 degrees nose up is this cross right here. 
uh, 10 degrees up on the pitch ladder, the tail will strike the ground. So I did that and, uh, well, you know, not good. So just to show you guys, the plane itself will auto rotate. I'm going to go ahead and keep my hand off of the stick. We'll see what happens. There it is. The plane's already rotating and I haven't touched anything yet. That's it. I just pulled back the throttle. I have not touched the stick at all. So uh, when you take off, just let the plane go. Let it take off. That's it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope this helps you out. Hope this gets you started uh, quickly, especially in those multiplayer sessions. I know it's going to help me. Take it easy, guys. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.